All right, so just a quick video today. I want to talk about autocomplete on forms. So I have uh, a simple form here with a bunch of fields in it. I have a reference here. So if you look down in the description, you'll see a link to the code gist that has the code for this page, so you can get that URL. It takes you to the MDN website and the page for autocomplete. This is an attribute that you can add to your form element as well as any one of the inputs that you put inside your form. Uh, so input, select, text area, those types of things. Now, if you want to prevent autocomplete throughout your form, what you can do is just set the autocomplete attribute in the form element. So the element that wraps around your entire form, you can set autocomplete to off at that point and then just don't put autocomplete anywhere in any of the elements and you will turn off autocomplete for that form. Now if you want to enable it in your HTML what you can do is add the autocomplete attribute inside the various elements that you want to autocomplete. We can set autocomplete on at the form. It's recommend that you, recommended that you do this in the form in addition to these. Now we can also use a whole bunch of very specific values for autocomplete inside each one of these elements. And that's what this list is here. This web page gives us a whole bunch of values we can put inside here. So name, if you want the full name, name is the value for autocomplete. Or if you want to split it up into a bunch of fields, so like the honorific prefix, one of these, um, given name, additional name, family name, nickname, so on. So all these different parts of the name can be used, but I'd recommend as a best practice, just keeping the name all together. If the person wants to put Dr. or Mr. or Ms., they can do that as part of this, but let them fill the, the whole thing in. Then it's one field, it gets saved as one field, and they can use it. Um, emails. There's an autocomplete email. Password. There's a couple of different ones. So for autocomplete, you can set to current password, or we can say new password. So the new password, that's a great one. Um, make sure this is saved, come back in here. For the password, if you set it to new, you can get options here, so as such as suggest strong password. Uh, Firefox, I think it comes up with an actual um, suggestion right there. You can click on a button and say, hey, I wanna use this value. Um, so here you can see as I select this one, it's actually gonna fill in my email as well. Yeah, if I don't have that filled in, we can come in here. Now, you'll see that filling this in isn't giving me anything. If I come up to full name, I'm clicking on it, nothing. Coming in here, nothing's showing up. There are settings in the browser for the user to control on whether or not they want to save this information. So if we go into settings, if you search for autofill, so in Chrome, you know, you come down here, you go into settings, you open it up, search for autofill. There's three different parts. Passwords, so that's username and password. Payment methods, credit cards and so on. So in here, do you want to save and fill this in? So the user actually has to turn this on. You can suggest to them on the website that they do this to save it for future. And I'm going to be making a future video on the payment API as well, the web payments API which we'll talk a little bit more about this. For addresses, same thing. We can turn this on to save those parts of the form that we want. So as the user's filling this in, if they've enabled those settings, they will actually be prompted for all these different parts. And it's just a matter of learning a handful of names here. For anything having to do with the credit cards, all the values start with CC. So we look down here, we can see, so for the address, my text area I was using, this is to allow people to put multi-line addresses, street address. So some people have uh, a street and maybe a neighborhood and apartment number, things like that. That all goes in here. There's a separate one for postal code or post code, I believe it is. Um, the credit card one's coming back to that. CC name, CC type. And they've all got the hyphens inside them. My IDs and names and four, I'm not putting the hyphens in here, but the autocomplete value do have the hyphens. CC name, type, um, 
CC number, CC expiry, or EXP, and the security code, the credit card security code, the CSC. So that's the other part that comes in here. Uh, for the credit cards, you get all these different values. So if the person has turned on the setting and they say, yes, I do want to save payment information, then when you come in here, after they've filled it out once, it's going to come up as an option. They're going to get a choice for autocomplete. It'll be a drop down list, kind of like with the password, what it did here. It'll show things like this and you can pick and choose which one of the values they want to put into their form, but only if they've turned these things on themselves. All right, so that's it. So this, this code right here with all these examples, this is uh, linked to in that code just down in the description, the link to the MDN website with the list of all the different values that is linked to down inside that file as well. All right, so I hope that helps you out. If you found this useful, please share and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.